He prayed the Bible. Look at that. So now, this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob. He who formed you, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by, by name. You are mine. When you pass through the water, I will be with you. When you pass through the river, they will not soak over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, and the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, uh, Cushes and the Sheba in your state. Since you have, you are precious and honor in my sight, and because of, I love you, I will give you man in exchange for you, and people in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them up back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I create for my glory, whom I born and made, lead out. Those who are have eyes but are blind, who are ears but are deaf. This evening, I would like to share with you: You are mine. You are mine. You know what God said? You are mine. God wants to say to you tonight: You are mine. You are mine. You belong to Jesus. Actually, how I become a born again Christian? And then around 30 years ago, my friend died by, you know, liver cancer. But he received the life two hours later. And then I saw the, this miracle and I was shocked. And then I opened the Bible first time in my life. And uh, this is my scripture. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 to 3, that was the uh, scripture. And if you see verse 1, Isaiah 43, the Lord God say, He who cried to you, O Jacob. What does the meaning of Jacob? Israel. No, meaning. Meaning of Jacob. God deceiver. Deceiver. He's a cheater. He's cheating the people, Jacob. And he who formed you, O Israel. You see? Cried to you, O Israel. Formed you, O Israel. You know? Cried to you, O Jacob. And formed you, O Israel. Same man. But when God say, I know who you are. Before you become Israel, you were what? Jacob. And you become a child of God. You are the Israel, you see. Create or God, create you, O Jacob, form the O Israel, same man, but different name. You can see the BC and after BC, before Christ and after Christ. This man, Jacob, he was a cheater, but God say, I create you. O Jacob, I formed you, O Israel, same man. Thanks be to God. Do you know, this one say, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I redeemed you. Do you know? He said, don't be afraid. I redeemed you, or I summoned you. And do you know what I say? Verse, end of verse 1. You are mine. You are mine. God spoke to Jacob, the same man, Israel. God said, you are mine. You are mine. God knows before you came to the Lord Jesus. Before you know, you know, you have some experience of a hard time, yeah, difficulties. But He knows, and God said, "I create you, O Jacob. I formed you, O Israel. Same man, but God called him part of your life, in your old life, and your new life." And God said, you are mine. You are mine. It's not wonderful. And then God promised, verse 2 and 3. God promised with you. God promised with you. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And when you pass through the river, they will not stop over you. God promised with you. It's a wonderful news, isn't it? Even when you walk through the fire. <coughs> Can you walk through the fire? <laughs> like, you know what? Sadrach, Mesach, Jabendigo, three people, they walk through the fire. But what can I say? You will not be burned. No, you cannot burn. 
and uh, even the flames will not set you ablaze. Why? Because I'll be with you. This is a promise of God. When you walk through the water, I'll be with you. The water will not swap over you. When you walk through the fire, not, you will not be burned. And then even flames will not set you ablaze. This is the promise of God. And God say, I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. It's not a wonderful promise. God say, I am your God. I am your God. And God say, you are mine. You are mine. If God say to you, you are mine, you belong to God. You don't need to worry about anything. Do you understand? God say, you are mine. He made the heaven and earth. You are my child. You are my son. You are my daughter. What God say? Verse 4. You know what God say? Verse 4. He say, verse 4. Since you are precious and honor in my sight. Why God say to you are so precious? You are so honored. Why? Because he loves you. You can see the end. Oh. Do you understand? You are precious and honor in my sight because I love you. Because I love you, you are so precious. Do you understand? You are so precious. Yeah. Don't tell me I used to be homeless. Don't tell me uh, I was in the, in the darkness. You know, it's, it's okay. God said, you are precious. You are honor in my sight. Why? Because I love you. When God say that, you are mine. And he say that you are mine. You are so precious. You are so honored in my sight. Why? Because I love you. Because he loves you, he say, you are mine. You are mine. You are so precious. You are valid. Unfortunately, Satan tried to attack you. Do you understand? Satan always, do you know what this plan of Satan? Satan always try to attack you. You are not good, you are lavish, or your life is terrible, all kind of accusation, all kind of you know, you know, blame, all kind of you know argument. That is the plan of Satan. Do you understand? Plan of Satan is steal, kill, destroy. Satan try to steal your joy, steal your life. Try to kill you. Try to destroy your life. This is the plan of Satan. But thanks be to God. Jesus say, you are more than conqueror. Also God say, because I love you, you are so precious, you are so honored in my sight. This is what God say to you and me. And you know what God say? I'll give you men in exchange for you. And the people in exchange for your life. That is mean, do you know what God said? Bring the people and man exchange for you and your life. God will bring people to bless you. God will use everything to support him for you, to bless you, to honor you, to, to, to give you peace and joy. God knows how to bless you abundantly. This is a pride, promise of God. Therefore, when you promise with us, and he, he say, you are mine. And you can say to the Lord, I thank you, I belong to you. And God say to you, you are so precious, you are so honored in my sight. And say, you can say to the Lord, I thank you, I'm precious. I'm so precious in the eyes of the Lord. Can you say to me in the name of Jesus? I'm so precious. I'm so honored in the eyes of God. Amen. This is you because he loves you. Because he loves you. Satan tried to attack you anyway. But don't listen what Satan say to you. Do you, do you understand? Plan of Satan still keep destroyed. But Jesus came to this world to destroy the plan of Satan. And then look at the verse uh, 5. That is why God say, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. This is a promise of God. Don't be afraid in any situation. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. Don't be afraid. 
Satan knows how to discourage you, how to upset you, how to dis, you know, uh, disgrace to you. But you need to wake up. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah. God will bring his own people for the glory of God. Yeah. In the last two days, I tell you, you can see the, who is a true believer and who is a false. You can see the in the last day, so many false prophets will laser. up. Don't listen to this kind of false prophet. And look, verse 7 is very important. Why God, you, verse 7, everyone who is called by my name, whom I create to you for my glory, and whom I formed and made. Why God created you? Why God created you? For his glory. For his glory. For his glory. Remember that God made you for his glory. Again, do you remember Isaiah 43 verse 1? He who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, created you and formed you. Again, verse 7. Whom I created you, created for my glory, and whom I formed and made for my glory. You see? Therefore, God said to Jacob, and say, man, Israel, you are mine. For what? For my glory. You are so precious. You are so honored in my sight. Why? Because I love you. I love you. What can I say? A few, I think, a few days ago, I received a text message from, from Kenya, Pastor James. He said, Pastor Paul, you know, one day, he, he, he went to the Miranda outside of Kisumu. He was preaching in the conference. And then, then instead of he go back to his home, you know what he did? He sleep in a small car and the front seat. And uh, he's a big man, James, a very big man. He sleep in a small car in the front seat. And um, he never knew, he never thought he get the land in that area. He get the church building in that area. And he built his house in that area. But now, what was happening? Last year, we bought the church building, we bought the land, and then recently we preached to build his house. It's not wonderful. That is grace of the Lord. You know, that is a favor of God. Because God loves him. I knew him over 20 years. Thanks be to God, how God loves James, and God touch him and change him. I do believe that. Why God made him made you precious and honor in the sight of God? Why? Because God loves him. And then when God loves him, and then whom I create for my glory. You have to glorify God. Whatever you do, it, do it for the glory of the Lord. Yeah? Do it for the glory of God. But verse 8, lead out though you have eyes but are blind. Though you ears but not deaf. You understand? Spiritual blind, spiritual deaf. You know, when I tell you the truth for spiritual blind, spirit deaf, do you know what they respond to me? They are so upset. They are angry with me. You still angry with me? <laughs> do you know? Because I'm telling the truth, some people are so angry. They are spiritual blind, spiritual deaf. De deaf. Spiritual deaf is, you know, they couldn't understand what I'm saying. And they, they ch continually argue with me. Because I knew they are spiritually blind, spiritually deaf, and then I tell the truth. You tried to come to my house two times, but you couldn't come to <laughs> my house. Yesterday you come, you today tried to come, but you couldn't come. But tomorrow you can try, or this evening, okay? Do you understand? You know, you know the man there, yeah, but it's not come true. But, you know, thanks be to God. Jesus said, I am the what? The way. I am the way, the I am the truth, I am the life. No one come to the Father but by me. Only through Jesus, you can go to heaven. But verse 8, lead out, though you have eyes but are blind, lead out these people. Spiritual blind man, spiritual deaf, yeah? spiritual mute. You can bring them out. Bring them out of the darkness. You can do it. This is our job. God say to you tonight, you are mine, what I say. 
Look at the book of Ezekiel. Look at Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 1. Do you know the words of the book of Ezekiel? After Jeremiah. Yeah. Book of Ezekiel chapter chapter 18, verse 4. Book of Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4, saying, I can read for you. Book of Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4. For every living soul belongs to me. What God said, you see? Every living soul belongs to God. The Father as well as the Son both alike belong to me. The soul who sinned is the one who will die, you see. Yeah? When the soul who are coming to sin, what you have for they will dwell. Hell. You understand? What can say every living soul belong to me? The Father as well as the Son, both alike belong to me. But the soul who sins is in one who will die and go to what? Go to hell. I don't want to some soul go to hell. No. Why I'm here? To share the good news of Lord Jesus Christ. You don't need to go to hell. Look. Psalm 119 verse 94. Psalm 119. Psalm 119 verse 94. Psalm 119 verse 94. I can read it for you. Save me, or I am yours. I have sought out your precept. You know, the songwriter, he says, Save me, for I am yours. I belong to you. Save me, Lord. He declared, I belong to you. Save me, I am yours. That kind of a prayer. Save me. Oh Lord, I belong to you. I am yours. Can you say it to me in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Save me. Save me. I'm yours. Um, I am yours. Yes, you see, you can say that I am yours. I belong to you. You can do something for me. You can say it like that. Yeah. Romans chapter 14, verse 8. Romans 14, verse 8 say, you know, you belong to Jesus. Therefore, when you live in this world, live for Jesus. If you die, die for Jesus. Romans chapter 14, verse 8. I can read for you Romans 14 verse 8. If you live, we leave it to the Lord. If we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Do you understand? You belong to the Lord, therefore, when you live, live to the Lord. If we die, we die to the Lord. We belong to God. God say to you, you are mine. You are mine. You belong to God. Therefore, when you live in this world, um, make sure, Father, I live for you, for your glory. You created me for your glory. You formed me for your praise. Actually, Isaiah 43, Isaiah 43, verse 21 saying, I can read for you, Isaiah 43, verse 21. The people I formed for myself, that they may proclaim my praise. Why God made Adam and Eve for his glory, for the glory of God, for the praise God. Why God made, why God formed Jacob, and why God created Israel, why God created his Jacob, and why God formed Israel, for the glory of God, for the praise of his name. Therefore, when we live in this world, God said to you, you are mine. You are so precious. Your honor in my sight. Why? Because I love you. Therefore, you need to glorify me. What I say. Glorify God. Whatever you do it. Whatever you do it, do it for the Lord. Yeah? If you die, die to the Lord. If you live, live to the Lord. We live or die, we belong to the Lord. Shall I pray? I can pray for you now. Can you touch your heart? I can pray for you now, if you touch your heart. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray, we know that you chosen us. You spoke to Jacob. Oh, I cry to you, oh Jacob, 
I warn thee, O Israel, don't be afraid. I summon thee, I'll be with you, you are mine. Lord Jesus, we thank you. You chose us, you called us, and we belong to you. According to your scripture, all living souls belong to God. Father God, help us. We belong to you and save us because of we are yours. And then you can deliver us from all the darkness. Father, we thank you. You made us, you formed us, you created us for your glory, for your praise. Father, we love you, bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. Be blessed. Jesus loves you. Live for Jesus with all your heart. In Jesus' name.